Today, I'm getting under the Ranger Raptor to check the differential fluid in the rear diff. I heard from some of the guys out in Australia that when they were getting their trucks delivered to them, it was coming to them from the factory with low fluid levels in the rear diff, uh, reported up to 25 millimeters low, which in the US is about an inch low, which is pretty significant. So um, in this video, I'm just taking the top plug out. I'm gonna stick my, my pinky finger in there and kind of see what the level is. And then, uh, you know, just to confirm that I don't need to add some more. But on that, I'm thinking, I read another comment that someone said at a thousand miles, they were gonna drain their transfer case, both front and rear diffs and put new fluid in there. I thought about that and realized when it comes to oil like this, the three things that you know make it go bad are temperature uh, and really differentials and transfer cases don't get that hot. It's just a little bit of friction. It's not like engine oil where you've got combustion in there. So you don't have a bunch of temperature burning this oil. Uh, the other thing that wears down oil is shear forces. And really that just takes a lot of mileage. And then the last thing is contaminants. So little metal shavings. And that is the big concern on a new vehicle. So my thought was I drain the rear diff, the transfer case, and the front diff all into separate containers. And then, you know, let it really drain, give it plenty of time, and then take a high-powered rare earth magnet and run it through this fluid and just get all the metal shavings out of it. Uh, what I don't know is if the drain plugs have uh, magnets in them. A lot of times there's a magnet incorporated. So if that's the case, then I just clean off the magnets and put it back in there. But if I get all the metal shavings uh, or any contaminants that are metal out of it with a magnet, I think I should be able to put that same oil or you know differential fluid back in there and it'll work perfectly. Um, for any of you mechanics out there that think this is a terrible idea, please let me know that it's a bad idea and why. But to me, it makes a whole lot of sense to not waste money buying new fluid for, you know, three month old fluid that's only been through a thousand miles. So that's my plan. I'm going to make a video of doing that to see how many metal shavings I get out of each um, component, the two differentials and the transfer case. But I'm not going to waste money and have to dispose of oil for no good reason. So that's my plan. Um, we'll go from there. But anyway, I did check the differential fluid in the back. It was at a good level, so I'm not concerned about that. And that's really it. So I appreciate you guys watching this. Let me know what you think. If you get your Ranger and you check your rear diff here in the US and it is low, let me know. I'm curious. Uh, I got lucky. I haven't checked the front diff or the transfer case yet. My intention is to do that. And when I do this little experiment, my my plan is to weigh and do the math and figure out how much I have in each and compare it to the manual to make sure that they are filled to the right levels. So when I do fill it back up, if I need to buy more, I will be doing that. But based on the rear diff, it was at the right level. So I think I'm in good shape. Anyway, have a great weekend. Please let me know if using magnet to get the contaminants then putting the same old oil back in is a terrible idea. Otherwise, you know, that's what I'm going with. So cheers, have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. It's over!